the fire has died down, our coals are ready. My name is Jeff Parker. I'm the culinary director for Bowl Outdoor Products and we are getting ready to make a pizza. First thing we wanna do is move the coals out of the center of the oven and clean that deck and get it ready and then we'll get our pizza ready. So we're gonna start by grabbing our ash and coal shovel and we're gonna lay it inside the caddy and just pull the whole thing across. And once that's over, we're gonna grab our brass bristle brush and sweep over as much of that debris as you can so we have a place for our pizza. Today we're just gonna make a simple pizza margarita. It's just a little, we'll roll out the pizza dough. We have a little marinara sauce, some fresh mozzarella, and then when we pull that out, we're gonna hit it with some fresh basil and uh, good to go. So we we'll start by putting a generous amount of flour on our cutting board. Grab our dough, okay, and kind of flip it around so you get it nice and floured. And you can either press this out or you can use a rolling pin, how whatever is easiest for you to get your pizza ready. You don't want this to be any bigger than the pizza peel itself. So I'd say maybe 12 inches, 14 inches at the most. It's a 15 inch peel, okay? Just gonna roll that out like that and stretch it out. And you may want to, the first few times you make pizza, if you'd like a thin crust, maybe not go so thin the first few times that you do it, just so you can kind of get a feel of what's going on because the thinner the crust, the more delicate it is getting in and out. So, okay, we've got this rolled out and we're gonna put the marinara on. You can also use barbecue sauce, so depending on what kind of pizza you wanna make. You can put barbecue sauce, you can put down an Alfredo sauce, you can put down pesto, whatever kind of floats your boat. I've done it with curry sauce before. You're gonna take the marinara, spread it around, leave about an inch border along the outside of the pizza. The thing with uh, getting these pizzas in and out of the oven is you don't wanna load it down with toppings. So, you know, even if you kind of dig on the uh, meat lover special, um, you might still wanna go easy so you can have a little love and not leave it in your oven. All right. So that nice amount of marinara on there. We have some fresh mozzarella. Uh, which is always my preference. Uh, these are sliced about a quarter inch thick. You can tear them off in chunks, however you like to do it. Just kind of lay those around. On there like that. All right, so we're good to go as far as the pizza goes. So let's put on our mitts here. Those handles are hot now, so be very careful and get yourself some oven mitts. Again, these bull pit mitts work really, really well. Take the door off and just kind of set it down out of the way. You've got our infrared thermometer. Just kind of aim it in there, pull down the button, and there we go. It's climbing, it's climbing, and we are at about 600 degrees exactly. We're good to go. If the oven has not reached the optimal temperature, add one or two more pieces of wood to the coals and let it burn down. You may have to do this a couple times, especially if you haven't used the oven in a while. All right, now this is the part where you probably need a lot of practice. Um, so you might want to put a little flour on the peel just to kind of get it going the first couple times you do it. You lift up the edge of the pizza and you just kind of slide it under. You want to get the whole thing on there. You can see it moves pretty freely on the peel. These perforations help a lot. Um, the amount of flour helps a lot too. The other thing, you. Maybe as you get going and the better you get at this, maybe a little less flour, but to get you going, this is really gonna help you out. You just take that, our clean oven deck, and you're just gonna give it a little quick shove and a pull at the same time. So just kind of pull it right out and let it cook. So it's gonna take anywhere from four to eight minutes, just kind of depending on how hot the oven floor is and what's going on. And uh, you can already see it's starting to bubble a bit and it's just been in there less than a minute. As the edge of your pizza nearest the coal starts to brown, rotate it using the turning peel for even baking. You'll need to do this three or four times depending on the size of the pizza and the temperature of the coals. All right, our pizza's ready. It's all bubbly and brown and delicious on top. In there. And... Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. All right, so like I promised, we're gonna just take a little fresh basil, just grab some leaves. Three or four will work. Gonna roll them up. Just give them a quick chop. Sprinkle those over the top. 
All right, and there you have it. That is a beautiful pizza margarita in your wood-fired bowl oven. Give it a quick little slice there. Listen to that nice, crisp, crunchy crust. And that's all there is to it. So for more information about the Bull Pizza Oven or for more videos, go to bullbbq.com and take it from there. Cheers.